Hello, welcome back. Last time I came to a forest where everything was mysteriously bouncy. Physics were very weird, but I was able to work with them. 179, look, I've mashed my strawberry counts. <laughs> oh, it tells me how many strawberries there are total. What did that say, 283? All right, so you're here. We got a bouncy thing there. Stellar wind going up left. So I'm guessing I want to dash straight to the right into that. And that'll angle me to where I need to be, maybe. Then you might want a dream hyper out of it, because you seem to want tech like that. And there's a crystal right there. That's a pretty good hint that that's what it wants, because otherwise that crystal would be useless. Okay. And in this map, supers go much lower than hypers. You want me to go across and then what? This looks like a split path. Perhaps I'll find a... Wait, no, this keeps scrolling right. What is... Ah, what is this horror? Okay, there's an up that looks closer than the other directions. I'm scared. I stepped into something and it's quite frightening. Uh, I said straight to the right. That wasn't straight to the right. Okay, so figure out how to dream hyper. I did it. Uh, then what? Then do it again? Where? When? What am I doing? So there appears to be an up path. And it appears to have a return trip. So I'm gonna guess I want to go up there. There's also over here. A mover is involved. It's just gonna bunk on that wall, so I'm using it prior to then. It has spikes on the top and bottom. So this looks like... Start mover moving. Dash over here, get in the star blocks. Dream hyper out of them. Bounce on the moving floor quickly into air super on that. With pink hair... Do what? Do I just need the one dash to get in there? Probably to the right? And that would eventually get me over there. So that feels like progress because it doesn't come with a built-in return trip. So I'm going to try and go up first. Alright, so if I'm doing that... I've been on this side of that dream block before. After I do that, I probably want to dash up left back into it again. Dream Hyper out of it. Do some magic there. And... Yup. Uh-huh. Reverse. Wave dash. Air super be up there or something like that. Okay. Right, it's to the right, not to the upright. Okay, this means I have to land Dream Hypers. What I learned about those was that I want to input the dash much before the jump. That seemed to work best. Hmm. Best isn't very good. Oh. That was too early, I think. I don't know what was wrong there. I don't have diagnostics. Well, that sort of worked. Maybe. I don't really know what I'm doing on the other end of that. Oh, this room is a lot. 
Alright, one step at a time. <laughs> the problem is, this step is wildly unreliable. Is this the point at which I need to duck out and go back to the gym? Probably. I think that's the smartest thing to do here. That's not the option I wanted. The gym's not out here. I want to return to lobby. I do want to save. Okay, tell me once again about Dream Hypers. How do they work? Okay, I'm here. There's a bench. Jim is over there somewhere. Uh, right, and this is going to mess with my sense of physics because I have to go elsewhere. You're a Jim. There we go. Um, you. That's the one I want. Dream Hyper and Super. Dream Hyper. Input a hyper immediately after exiting a dream block. So my failures were probably by being too early. You can hold the directional inputs while moving through the dream block. Yeah, okay. After exiting, you have up to four frames to perform a dream hyper. So four frames after. If you enter the dream block or crouch, you'll not be able to perform. Okay, so keep that in mind. I guess that was too long after. That was just a dream jump. Hmm. So that was it? Let's do that a bunch of times and get used to it. Okay, I'm doing it a bunch of times and getting used to it. So it is specifically after, but not too long after. Four frame window, four frame window after exiting. Okay, that's what I needed to know. All right, uh, exit, there we go. Four frame window after exiting. Just needed some timing info. All right, bench is over here. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time out here messing with my sense of physics, because I need overgrown Lin physics to be in effect here. This is probably the bench I want? Yeah. Alright, so return here with knowledge. Continue. Four frames after. That was too early. Okay, diagnostics, there we go, important. Four frames after, that was too late, I guess. Hold the direction while inside. Yeah, okay. So, that helps a lot. Yes, okay, got it. So then I can focus on what I'm doing afterwards. Still gotta figure out the timing for that one. Okay, that was the wrong direction. That was too late, I guess. Oops, that was the wrong direction. That was... I don't know. Nope, the wrong direction again. I can't climb. I tried to, but I can't. I probably wanted to... Bounce off of that wall. Okay, let's try and get a bounce off of that wall. Oh, this is a lot of inputs. Hmm. Whoa, that was a violent bounce. What? That was way too much bounce. Okay, so was that? Idea. Let's try a dream jump out of that one. I think that might get me a better wall angle than a hyper. 
Yes. Okay. Maybe. Can I just do a wall bounce on that? Let's try simpler techniques. Because I think the fancy ones are doing me no favors here yet. At least not until I know overall what I'm doing. So that kind of worked. This angle just feels really awkward, and I don't know what needs to happen at that transfer. If that crystal is there... Okay, new idea. Dream jump, wall jump, wall bounce, reverse wave dash, then air super. That sounds more manageable. Dream jump, wall jump, wall bounce. And it gives me the right number of dashes, I think. Dream jump, wall jump, wall bounce. That's much more practical. Okay, that's actually doable. There we go, I figured it out. Sometimes you don't need all the fancy stuff in like every single instance. There we go. As soon as I came up with that plan, everything is perfect. All right, this is the strawberry room. Yes, okay. Okay, I solved the puzzle. All right, so aggressive solar wind there. Solar. Stellar. That's the word I was using. That's clearly a get in, come back out the other side with a dream hyper situation. I think I understand how that's going to happen. Once on that wall, I think I wall bounce, then I do the other kind of wall bounce. Then do the normal kind of wall bounce. Yeah, that, that setup on the left there is exactly like what I used to get in here. So reverse wave, reverse wave. That's probably a straight left into those dream blocks and a dream hyper out of them. That looks like an up right into that and a dream super out of that, I think? Regular wall bounce, weird wall bounce, regular wall bounce, and strawberry. Yeah, I can say the words. And I can do the actions too. Oops. <laughs> Eventually, it might take a few tries. Might take a few tries. Okay, I can actually just do a regular dash there. I don't even need to... Uh... In fact... Hmm. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, okay, so dashing straight into the wall gave me that kind of bounce. If I go at a different angle... That's assuming I can nail this Dream Hyper ever. Done it several times, but now it's just not doing anymore. Okay, different idea. Uh, do I ever get the angle where I could do an upright dash after this wall? Mm, no. Can I do two of those? Ooh, that's not what I want. Okay, none of that was how that was supposed to go. It kind of worked, though. Let's ponder. My Dream Hyper puts me right in that crystal. With no dash. Okay, theory. Once I eat that crystal, I dash straight up, veer right, eat the other cross cr crystal, <laughs> dash upright, bounce off the wall, Get high enough to get that other crystal. I feel like I'm one dash behind this entire time. I am one dash behind. No, no, that's not how I'm supposed to do that. Okay, so it feels like what the level actually wants me to do is after that Dream Hyper, I eat the first crystal, I wall jump, and then I somehow land an upright dash that collides with the wall, eats the other crystal, and I can jump off the wall. It just feels like that's not happening, so that gets me enough distance to eat the third crystal during a wall bounce. Set up the reverse wave dash, the reverse wave dash, left into the dream block, dream hyper, get the crystal. 
up right into that thing. Dream Super. Good luck with that one. Yeah, and then we're right back in that situation. And yeah, this is a lot to ask. How is this going to happen? It's just my dash budget doesn't make sense right in right at the beginning. Let's try a dream jump. Maybe it's as simple as I don't want to dream hyper here. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, once again, getting too fancy. Sometimes you need the simple. So I, I need to figure out how to read when I want fancy and when I want simple. Okay, got it. Well, I guess the way to read that is, if the fancy angle looks wrong, try the simple angle and see if it looks more right. Okay. But yeah, other than that, I don't know how I would tell which is which. Getting that angle is kind of tricky. I'll hone in on the right timing for it, like that. Yes, okay, all of that is correct. Uh, that was mostly right. I was just holding upright instead of downright for the dream hyper. Okay. I need to jump a little sooner after my dash there, I think. And or dip down a little more, but not that much. Yeah, okay. Some combination of those two things. Yeah, see, like, I gotta jump so fast after the dash there. I'm never ready for that. Like that, okay. And then line up with you. I can dip down a little lower if I need to. And I do. Like that. Okay. Oops. Yeah. It's so funny, without, like, any kind of visual suggestion, this just really makes Madeline feel like a bouncy ball. I am not landing that reverse hyper ever. I did it once, though. <laughs> we got it two in a row, and then a whole bunch of stuff afterwards. Okay, halfway there. That part is excessively tight, it feels like. I wonder if that means there's another route I should be taking here. Well, I made some of the right inputs, just I didn't manage to press the dash button. Oh. There we go, perfect. Now, be somehow ready for doing the Dream Super out of that. The angle makes it really hard to judge when I'm leaving the Dream Block there. Just complicating things further. Hmm, I think my angle is just wrong. I need straight up instead of upright. Okay, let's try that. Whoa. That worked somehow. Straight up. Hmm, I don't get enough speed to go straight up. Upright puts me on top of the dream block. On top is no good because there's spikes up there. I don't think I could just, like, veer to the... Well, hang on. Ah, no. I'd like to be able to go straight up. Maybe that's possible? Okay, let's see what kind of angle I have coming out of there with respect to the floor spikes. I bounced off the ceiling. That's right, you can do that. And sometimes I go too high there and those spikes get me. Hard to know what to do about that. It just feels like it'll sometimes happen, and there's not much I can do about it. Hmm. 
Yep, it's just gonna happen sometimes. There's not much I can do about it. I wonder if I'm supposed to make a different move there, or like... Uh, I don't know. It's funny how that transfer right there is the thing that's really giving- Wait a second! That angle might have worked. Ah, that angle works fine, and it's more comfortable than- Okay, I don't get the spike ceiling problem there. Okay. I was doing the wrong thing. Ah, problem is it makes the... wall bounce timing there a lot harder. But it's clearly the right way to do it, so... Alright, I'll get used to it. It's kind of funny how the other way is, is totally workable, it's just a little fiddlier. Ah, <sighs> is it? I don't know, this problem might be worse than the problem I was having with this. Because, like, the extra time to line up that wall bounce is almost worth the jank of the earlier bit. I don't know, I should get used to the proper way. I I might have. Okay, so think really hard about going straight to the up there. I seem to never be getting that too early, so air earlier on the wall bounce timing after... I could I'm moving right to left here. Yeah. I'm never far enough right to get a straight up dash, and even if I had, I think it would take me just straight into those... Whoa, I didn't expect that to work. Yeah, no, that's straight up is impossible. So I need to work with upright. It's been impossible all the times I've tried it. Maybe there's some nuance to the dream hyper, but... See, this doesn't seem to be a level about that sort of nuance. It's not like super precision. It's if, it, if it looks like super precision, you're doing the wrong thing. So I think upright there... Or sorry, up there is the wrong thing. It has to be upright, so... Let's try a... Oh, well, I know what a Dream Hyper will do. It'll just put me straight into spikes. It has to be a Dream Super. I think I've never actually successfully landed one of those coming out of that block at all. Clearing that is proving to be quite difficult. Yeah, that little reverse, like, none of this is easy. No no single component of this is, uh... I am surprised at how consistent I've been able to get at... Wait, hang on, that's a dream jump I'm doing. Oh, and that was, uh, that was off the wall, right. In this level, that gets about the same angle as the... Something. I don't know. <sighs> yep. Okay, I made a slightly different input for the reverse wave dashes that I think will be more consistent. Hmm. I'll have to get used to that, though. No, it has to be upright. That's the only angle that can hit that. Okay, so upright. Upright and try to dream super out of it. Okay, and debugged my wave dashes. I was just not switching directions. I can switch directions much earlier, and I don't run the risk of inputting the wrong dash direction, I say, as exactly that happens. Never mind. Well, I can still do it earlier than I was. No, that angle is all wrong. Do I, like, go back in the dream block or something? Yes! Don't do a jump or anything. Get out the other side, go back in from the left to the right, it'll turn me around, then I do a dream super. Oh, okay. I can believe it.
Ja. Ups. This foreground waterfall is not doing me any favors visually, like seeing where I am and what I'm doing. Hey. Thanks to the regenerating crystals. That was a kindness the level didn't have to provide, but it is appreciated. I was too early. I was much too early. Right, it's after you exit the dream block. Specific phrasing. After you exit. Oh, too high. I saw it. <sighs> after you exit, get back in. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's a tough move to pull off on the spot, but I understand it now. <laughs> okay, I did it. No, I didn't. My hair was blue. Uh, you... wait a second. My hair was blue. My hair was indeed blue. And I didn't get high enough to get that crystal. Dream Super takes me too low for that. You suppose a Dream Hyper might actually have the right angle? I'm gonna have to try it. Because I haven't tried that after the new re-enter the Dream Block strategy. Well, if I'd entered it from lower, maybe? Whoa! to be later. Need it to be later. My fingers are getting used to this, it's just they're, they're not all the way there yet. Bouncy. Whoa. Nope, needed to be later. Come on now. I know this, but I don't know it on the spot. Later. Uh, a little earlier on that. I'm gonna be re-entering and then re-enter low, then dream hyper. Re-enter low and dream hyper. Re-enter... Ah. So hold right a little bit to not have that happen. Re-enter low. Dream Hyper. Yeah, that angle works. Hold right after the Dream Hyper, I guess? Oh, this is asking a lot. So let's say I did all that. I definitely had a route that was compatible with getting that crystal and continuing upward. After that point on that wall, I just want a wall bounce. Then a horizontal other kind of wall bounce. Just like I'm doing here. Hope I don't hit the spikes below because they're awfully close. I'm a little worried about that. But I should have some upward momentum, hopefully enough to carry me there. Then I just do a normal wall bounce, get the strawberry, and I'm done. Okay! I think I understand it. Now to do it. Uh, I have to hold right a lot more after I initiate that Dream Hyper, and that's hard for me. So 
hold right after the Dream Hyper. Because the angle takes me into the spikes and I need to avoid that. I'm going to test something. I'm going to test something there. It's... Okay. Yeah, okay. I can, I can resist the effects of the Dream Hyper plenty to avoid those spikes. Uh, it's just like that particular Dream Block up there. There's so many things to remember. You, right here. So do this, do this, do that, uh, do that, and then hold right afterward. <sighs> it's not like I can get there consistently. There are several common failure points before then. Two in a row, right there. Huh? Huh? Ah, too late, I think. <sighs> right, I had a strategy to avoid that problem. Let's make sure I'm actually using it. Oh, I forgot where I was. No, I'm not using the strategy. Okay, strategy deployed. I'm here. Ah, a little later, I mean earlier, I mean, I don't even know. Whoa, what was that? I have no idea. I think it was just an upright dash, actually. Okay. Oh boy. This is a lot. <laughs> this is really a lot. Hair back. Music's entirely too calm for this. No, okay. Ah, oh, the inputs in that section, that is just asking a little more than I feel like I have to give. But assuming I can nail the rest, big assumption. But if I could assume I could nail the rest, I'd only have to do it once. <sighs> yeah, I, I gotta really focus on the dream hyper, and I have to think about holding right afterwards. <laughs> You'd think it wouldn't be that complicated, but would you really? Would you really think that? No, that's I, that's not a dream hyper spot. <sighs> Just nothing else feels like that spot, so it's hard to calibrate my, my, my thumb feel to it. I have to be lower? I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing there. Just, I can't conceptualize what would be a more right thing. Could it be once again that I just want to dream jump? Because, yeah, doesn't that parallel that thing down there? Now, hold on, hold on. What about instead of getting excessively fancy? Yeah, it's just a dream jump. It's just a dream jump. Once again, I'm too fancy. That's a dream hyper, but it's the only dream hyper in the entire room. There's only one. Okay. The rest are just jumps. Okay, well that's a lot easier then. And I don't even have to re-enter the block, right? Oh, I think I do, but that part's not so hard. I don't have to think about hypers afterward. 
Yeah, it's just a dream jump. It's just a dream jump. Okay, that makes that so much more manageable. All right. Ooh, I forgot where I was. That happens a disturbing amount. Ah, oh, no, no, come back. Ah. Oh. Once again, like, like I was saying earlier, if it feels excessively demanding, it probably means I'm doing the wrong thing. I gotta be earlier on that up dash. There's a rhythm to this, like I'm almost... Each input comes at almost the same interval after each previous one. Almost exactly. That is remarkably consistent. That was actually good. It didn't feel like it was going to be, but then it was, and I wasn't ready for the follow-up. Whoops. Fush, 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 fush. There's a little more of a delay before that first reverse wave dash. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty even rhythm. That makes it a lot easier to time. A little bit more of a delay there. Almost. Okay, I'm pretty much there. Feels like I've worked out all my major inconsistencies. Yeah, 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 yeah! There we go! Oh, that was satisfying. Okay. I'm gonna step here, and that's where I'm gonna stop. Alright, so see you next time to figure out the second half of this room, and see what's to the right.